What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Part two. Part two. Shout out to everybody, you guys. Over 40 gained new subscribers today. Over 13,100 subscribers total. We are flying, ladies and gentlemen. This Teutonian, Teutonia thing we're building over here is something special. We're giving everybody with a fucking voice a place to, to have their voice heard, to be responded to, to not be muted or blocked or, or, or even bored. You're here to have fun and talk football, whether you like my team or not. So tighten up, Kobu Cyclops swag. I'm Titan Anderson. You can't spell Titans without putting that T A in it. Let's have some fun today, you guys. Blue Monster to get it started. Now, you guys, you guys, we're gonna get we're gonna get into everything real quick. First of all, again, shout out to the earlier stream. If you guys missed it. Man, we almost had uh, we almost had like ninety people in there at one time watching. Um, it's almost at two thousand views. You guys, you guys are fucking killing it. So what I recommend, you guys, the top right of this, if you if you're looking, there's these three dots. Make sure you guys hit those three dots, and then make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to comment, and make sure those emojis are flying. Make sure everybody's having fun. Use them. <coughs> This is crazy because the Tennessee Titans, you guys, are in a great spot. We're in a great spot right now. The NFL Combine is completely on our side. Uh, the NFL free agency is coming up. Uh, the NFL draft is going to be so, so exciting. So let's get into this, you guys. Let's get into this. Get your comments going. Get everything flowing. And, and let, let's, let's have some fun today. Let's have some fun today. Let me put my mic down a little bit. All right. Let's get it, man. Who's ready for some fucking Football live stream. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, at the top of the chat, you guys could probably see Michael. Uh, I'm going to pin that actually. Um, uh, where is it at? There it is. Make sure you guys join the channel Discord. It's going to be pinned at the top. There's the link. Hit that link. Join the channel Discord, you guys. It's a lot of fun. And then we've got the poll at the top, you guys. Who will the Titans draft? We put Joe Alt on the top since everybody wants him now. Malik Neighbors under him. Olu Fashionu underneath him and Brock Bowers. As we're sitting here right now with 10 votes. And again, this, this stream is going to pick up. We all know and once we hit about that 15, 20 minute mark, boom, everyone starts coming in. So this is going to pick up. But right now we're at 10 votes. We have Joe Walt with 10%. Malik Neighbors with 60%. Olu Fashionu with 10% tied with Joe Alt And Brock Bowers, surprisingly, I didn't think he would be up there with 20%. Uh, again, this is only gonna this is only gonna pick up. It's only gonna get bigger and better. So hit that hit that poll, man. Let's see what let's see what it says at the end of the day. Let's get at least a hundred a hundred uh, votes in there as well. Let's go, let's go, man. Uh, Michael M says, get your popcorn and get your ass a seat. Tighten up, let's go, man. Uh, Titanic says, make sure everyone stays tuned in. Everyone, we can hit a hundred concurrent viewers. Hey, if everyone hits that like that like button, that thumbs up, you continue to show support, comment, and 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 have fun, retweet, do all that fun stuff. Join the channel Discord. We're live every single day now, guys. Every single day. Every single day putting out content. Even if we go to the taco shop, man, you guys are going to get that content. You know what I'm saying? And we're still going to talk football while doing it. I love it, bro. Uh, Michael Lim says Derrick Henry is coming back, baby. I hope so, bro. What's up, Cat? I see you, Cat. Titanus, Michael Lim, Gator. Everybody's in the building today. I appreciate that. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Tyler says, yo, what's up, everybody? Michael Williams shows are getting lit. Hey, man, that, that, that's what it's about, man. It's about everybody just getting together, talking football, having fun. And uh, over here, you're going to have a place. You're going to have a place for sure. I appreciate everybody, man. Michael M says Brock Bowers is a huge pickup for someone. Dude, Brock Bowers is crazy, bro. He's so damn explosive. He can run routes. So he can do everything you could possibly want a tight end to do, bro. And, uh, great hands. Like, it's, it's unbelievable, man. It's really unbelievable. Um, he's somebody that, that I wouldn't mind again, um, chat section below chat section below, let your voices be heard. Not, not just in the polls. I want to know who you guys think the Titans are going to draft. You guys can also, again, NFL free agency. Who do you think in the free agency, the Titans should go get? I want everything in the chat section, light that shit up. And we're going to talk about it all. we got an hour tonight. 
Let's have some fun. We're, we're, we're just about to hit the five minute mark. We got all night to go. Everybody's still working their way in here, still trying to figure out that TA is live. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's have some fun tonight and talk some NFL football. Let's talk Tennessee Titans. Let's talk this off season because it's going to be fun. All right, man. I love it. Uh, what do we got here? He said, do you, I'm not going to do all that. What's up, Ducky? How you doing, buddy? He says, yeah, but now I have to go to school. To... <laughs> hey, you good, man. Do your thing. I want to know in the, the, the chat section below, how you guys feeling? How you guys feeling about those four up there? Would you guys be okay if the Titans were to get any of them? I mean, Joe Alt looks great. Malik Neighbors looks great. Olu. Uh, Olu actually looks really great. And then when you hear him talk, you like him even more. He's such a likable guy. Brock Bowers looks great. I would I would be okay with all of them. Um, personally, I, I would like uh, Malik Neighbors, Joe Alt, Brock Bowers, then Olu. But that being said, I wouldn't mind. Um, if we took any of those four with our seventh overall pick, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad. Not at all. Especially if it was Joe Alder neighbors, those are really top two guys, two of the top three guys that I really want. So, um, that'll be very interesting in its own right. We need guys that could just go and spread the field, man, just go and spread the field and take it over completely. Um, Malik neighbors is one of those guys, fellas. He's one of those guys. Uh, Ian Fuentes, what's up, buddy? Skill player would be cool, but we need uh, Will Levis to have time in the pocket. Draft Joe Alt. Again, that's the popular pick, you guys. That's the popular pick, Joe Alt. A lot of people, man, a lot of people want Joe Alt to be the guy. A lot of people want Joe Alt to be the, the guy. Da uh, in, in shoes and in pads, he's damn near six foot ten. It's crazy, bro. Uh, so he's, um, and he's fast. He moves well. He's fast. He's big. He's strong. He fits what we do. Uh, him or Olu really would fit well um, right next to Peter Skaronsky. Obviously, Brewer's too damn little to be center. If they bring him back, that's fucking ridiculous. But <laughs> but uh, I think overall, I think the Titans are going to be just fine as long as we uh, we allow all these all these teams to go up there and draft a quarterback. What do you guys think about that quarterback situation? I need everybody, whether you're a Titans fan or not. What do you guys think about all this quarterback stuff going on? You've got rumors that somebody's trying to trade up, that the Bears are possibly trying to trade uh, that number one pick, possibly for a huge haul. I, I, there's a, that's the rumor that I'm hearing going around. All like, is it the Giants? Is is somebody up there really want one of those quarterbacks? Like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, this is crazy, bro. And then you got all these other rumors with the Vikings, and and I've heard Vikings, uh, Justin Fields. I've heard, I've heard of. Um, I've heard Atlanta Falcons, uh, Justin Field. I do. There's fucking rumors for everything right now, not just with free agency, but with the draft. You're hearing this, you're hearing that. It's so crazy right now. It, it it's wild. It, it's completely wild. There's so much going on right now. Literally, so much going on. Uh, JC on Dorch says, "What's up, TA? How you doing, buddy? How you doing?" Um, Cat Nelson says, "Any of them works for me." Yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong. But uh, like I said, if you were to get Joe Alt. Boom, you got your wall right there. Neighbors, boom, you got your Sonic. Olu, boom, you got your Hulk. And then Brock Bowers, boom, you got your, you know, your fucking Travis Kels of, uh, you know, hopefully something of that sort, even faster though. Um, it, it's it's gonna get it's gonna get crazy, bro. The closer we get to free agency, fellas, it's gonna get even better and better. Uh, we, we've got an update right now on the on the poll. They're moving right now. We've got 28 votes, 20, 24 votes. Joe Alt is still sitting there at 42% now. Wow, he moved up big time. 42% Joe Alt, 33% Malik Neighbors. Olu is sitting there at 4%, which I figured he'd be last, but not this far. And then Brock Bowers is 21% 20, moving up to 23. So they're battling out on that poll right now, bro. Brock Bowers is creeping up on Malik Neighbors for second place on who the Titans should draft. That's insane. And it just shows you that whether people want to admit it, they're they're – they're hitting enter on Brock Bauer. A lot of people digging Brock Bauer. He's a beast. He's a beast. And a lot of people that watch Tennessee Titans football know Chig drops a lot of footballs, bro. It's crazy. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so excited about football. Are you excited about? Come on, bro. Let's go. Pop your bottle emojis, celebration emojis. If you're ready for fucking football, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Teutonians? Are you kidding me? It's going to be a blue world this season. It's going to be two-tone blue everything, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Carson says, I live in Nashville. That's what's up. JCN says, TA, 
Should we draft Joe, then get a wide receiver in the second, Troy Franklin? Hey, bro, I'm going to be honest. Troy Franklin and Paz looks explosive. And it's weird, bro. And then you got uh, Keon Coleman from the fucking Florida State uh, running a fucking one of the slowest 40s. And then and then when he does his his catch draw, I can't remember the name of it, he, he gets to his top speed faster than almost everybody. So it's like you don't know how to run the 40-yard dash, but you can run fast when you got to chase down a football. Like that that's so weird, bro. It's so weird. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy, bro. But I'll tell you one thing. I don't need to see Malik Neighbors do any of that. What I see on film is somebody with with elite explosion, elite hand-eye coordination, elite competitiveness. Perfect weapon for Willie Rocket. Will Levis launching the ball 80, 85 yards. I posted a, a thing on Twitter. I wish I had the, the video to show you guys. It's of Daniels launching it. Neighbors gets a guy on a move, and he's open by like 15 yards, and Daniels underthrows him. He still completes it because he's open by that much. And I and I put it on Twitter. I was like, if that's Will Levis, that's an easy touchdown. Will Levis can throw 85 yards in pads. Easy. Daniels underthrew a dude wide open, and it wasn't even 50 yards through the air. Like, that's crazy. People, that's what I'm saying. Everyone sees, and no no disrespect to, uh, what's dude's name? Uh, is it uh, Joe Milton or whatever? Uh, no disrespect to him, but everyone's like, oh, my God, bro. Like, uh, even somebody even somebody in, in uh, one of the subscribers, like, we should get maybe second round or whatever. Are you kidding me? The same thing with that Michael Pernix guy. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't care how good they throw in these, these, uh, these little workouts in their underwear. It doesn't mean anything. With pressure, with pressure, Milton's not going to be firing away no little, you know, celebration throws in pads. He doesn't do that. He doesn't even know when he has no blindside awareness. None of those. Pernix Jr., look at what he did in, in, the, in the championship game. He underthrew. Adunze Rome was, or, uh, uh, was right open, bro. Romy was wide open. He underthrew him how many times? Missed him how many times? Didn't see pressure all game long? He's too little. And when the pads are on him, he he's not able to get a full rotation on those throws. That's what I'm saying. Have these freaking quarterbacks and, and receivers and these people do these things in pads. They're doing all this crazy shit in, in, in underwear. They're not playing in underwear. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you can go ahead and have, you can throw it and do all the crazy pretty shit you want to do. But when the game's on and you're on, you're on the football field and pads and people are going there to take your head off, Perdix Jr. folds. And Milton did too. Milton has a strong arm. Yeah, that's cool. Almost everybody has a strong arm nowadays and is athletic. Almost everybody can do that. But that's not necessarily the job of a quarterback. Does it help? Sure, if you're Lamar Jackson. You know what I'm saying? If you know how to use it correctly, if you can sense that pressure, if you got those eyes in the back of your head, they don't got that. They don't have that. Malik Willis don't have that. People need to understand that. But but, but people people see these guys do all this crazy stuff, and then when they go and and who else did it? Let me explain to you. Who else did a big ass throw in, in the pre in the in, in the in the combine the workouts? Malik Willis. Do you guys remember that? He launched it off that play action. Beautiful dot. What was it? 60 something yards through the air. Kind of reminds me of that Milton throw a little bit, right? Perfect throw. Amazing. People are just going crazy. But when someone's chasing them down and there's pressure and your mind has to think, it's a little different. It's a little different. Let's get back into the comments, baby. Let's get back into the comments. Oh, man, you guys are great. You guys are great. How many? Well, well, there we go. We got 60 watchers. Let's go, baby. Keep getting that like button going, comment. We still got, we got 46 minutes to go. We just getting started, bro. We just getting started. Uh, Titan Boy says, I bet my last $2 we take neighbors if he's there. If he's there, you, you have to, bro. You have to. Tyler says, I don't hate it. Titans keep it going on. You Titans content from Kate. Dude, I don't, I'm support. What are you saying? You want to support me from Kansas City? I think that's what you're saying. All right, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, appreciate that, Billy. Appreciate that, Billy. What up, SG? The Willie Tro says, I just saw a rumor that the Titans are expected to pursue Darnell Mooney and CJ Gardner Jr. Thoughts? I'd be perfectly fine with that. Gardner Jr. needs a spot. You know, he can play safety and corner, to be honest. So we need both. <laughs> we need both. Uh, we got a lot of money to spend. So, um, I, again, anyone against that doesn't make any sense because we don't have much, but we have a lot to spend. 
a lot to spend. Why not get a guy who has attitude, has you know, is a good football player, and uh, needs a spot, needs somewhere to be, needs somewhere to roam around and make make shit happen. I'm not saying I want it to happen, but I'm saying I'm not against it. Over chicken made it, man. What's my guy doing, bro? Uh, let's see. Titan Boy says, Adunze, low-key gaming speed. It's getting wild, baby. Dude, it's crazy because people are... Uh, these uh, these 40 times are getting people going crazy, bro. Going crazy. And there's going to be some people who, uh, who are going to reach at some of these guys. There's going to be some people who are going to be reaching at some of these fast-ass little, little arm receivers, 140 pounds soaked and wet, just because they can run down a football field. Can they take a pounding down the middle of the field? Can they can they route run and, and make a guy go the other way? Do they even understand route routes in general? Can they do more than one route? Can they, I mean, the list go, can you high point a ball? Can you catch in traffic? Can you back shoulder catch? Do you want me to continue? It's not just about speed, fellas. Speed's nice if it works, but you got to do what you got to do. And Joe Alt right now is killing it. 45 votes right now, 48, 49% and climbing. Malik Neighbors holding strong at 26%. Brock Bowers behind him solid at 21%. And Olu Fashionu respectfully at 4%. This poll is crazy, man. Oh my God. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carson, what's up, buddy? Gator Hater said, TA, you need a call line. I could talk better than I can type, LOL. Hey, we're going to... Uh, I was thinking about doing the the... the the text to, uh, like, you know, when you donate and, and then uh, your chat goes to text. I was going to do that and, and try that out, man. Maybe we'll, we'll do that in the near future, man. Maybe we'll do that in the near future. He said CJ Gardner Johnson, I meant. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. JC on says, TA, should we draft uh, Joe, then go get a rubber? Oh, I think I already read that, huh? Or maybe, maybe you said it again. I'm not sure. Uh, I would be okay with that, by the way. I, I would be okay with that. I would be okay with that. Yeah, hell yeah. No doubt in my mind, y'all. No doubt in my mind, you guys. Make sure you guys, if, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that comment. Hit that comment. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Get your comments in there, man. Let's have some fun. I want to know who you guys, even if you're not a Titans fan, I want to know who you think your team's going to draft. Who do you want your team to draft? Who do you want your team to get in free agency? You know, if you're not a Titans fan, ask me questions about my team. Ask me questions about your team. That's what this is about, you guys. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dan Herb says, bro, you really grinding. You live again. I respect your passion, man. Um, I love this team. I love my subscribers. I love um, I love talking football. I love talking Tennessee Titans. Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's just it's entertaining. It's entertaining. I've always I've always done this. I've always even when I was a little kid, I've always talked football with people. Um you know, sharing stories, why, like hearing why people are fans, where they're from, not even from the city, but still liking fan, like it, or still liking the team. Like there's, it's, there's so many, there's so many reasons to like the game. Like the uniforms look like armor. Um, you know, the the camaraderie, the teamwork, everybody working together to accomplish one goal, and that's winning. And you got all the people. Uh, you know, when you go to a game, for all the people who's who's been to games, um, you know, when you're sitting there at your seat or even tailgating, walking by people, you're literally high-fiving people, and it seems like you're brothers, and you don't even know them. So, I mean, sometimes you do. I mean, there's times uh, at two years ago when we played the Sunday Night Football game, people coming up to me two years ago saying, T.A., Titan Anderson, it was crazy, bro. So shout out to all of you. You know who you were. Um, but there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. And football brings people together in, in just a magical way, good or bad. Good or bad. But most of the time, um, you know, exactly. To be honest, all the time, especially in the good times, it's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. You know, we over here when 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 my team loses, the Titans lose. We, me and my subscribers, we lose together. But when we win, we we uh, we celebrate together, and that's that's how it is. That's how it is. This is what we do over here. Win, lose, or draw, we bleed to tone blue. And this family is only going to grow bigger and bigger every single day. Um, shout out to the wife, man. Shout out to the kids. Uh, you know, always allowing TA to kind of do his thing and talk to who, to, to, to all you guys and have fun and and, and kind of get this going, man. Because like I said, the Tennessee Titans need somebody. The Tennessee Titans need somebody to represent this team and defend this team. I'm going to be the shield for this Tennessee Titans team. 
if somebody out there that's a content creator has a problem, they then we can argue about it in a friendly in a friendly manner. You know what I'm saying? I don't know any other Titans fans willing to do that. I've already called out the 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 fucking. We had a uh, Miami Dolphin fan, a, a Dolphin, I don't know, content guy, gamer or something. Hundred thousand subscribers coming over here. I offer him a chance to come talk. He turns it down. A Ravens content creator talking trash. I say, hey, let's talk. You know, like on live. Let, let, it's entertaining. Let's go on Twitter. Back in us lame, bro. Let's go. Nope, he didn't want to. Doesn't want to. Nobody wants to. But I, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Like I said, man, we may not have a lot of a lot of uh, overall fans in Tennessee. We don't. We may not have as many fans as the Cowboys or the Raiders or anything like that. But we don't care. We don't care. We love this team more than any any of those other fans could even ever imagine. I mean, look at the Texans. They they're over there trying to trying to steal our uniforms. The Texans are trying to steal our fucking uniforms, guys. They're trying to steal our our Oiler uniforms. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe that shit? What? They're trying to steal our baby blues. What? My fucking hat. Are you kidding me? It's not yours. It's ours. Our history. Our colors. Our fucking everything. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. <laughs> um. All right, Gator Hater, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, what did he say? Let me go back up. Um, yeah, no, but that call line thing is is something I've always thought about. Uh, looking back at that comment, uh, somebody you used to know says, "Do you think we should get Tyron Smith in the free agency?" It's not. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. You know what I'm saying? If it if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Uh, he's a he's a really uh, he's a solid ass tackle when he's healthy. That's for sure. So um, it's up it's up to it's up to them to to figure that one out. That's a I, I would if it happens, I'll I'll be okay with it. If we don't get him, I'm not gonna cry about it. If that makes any sense. Uh, Gator Hater says Bowers can be uh, used more than just a tight end. That's a fact, bro. He's a fucking weapon, and that's what we need. Can you imagine lining him up at tight end, right? He's just down there and we're in a bunch formation. And then we automatically like Will Levis says, Hey, bro, go out there. Go, go out, go out to the receiver real quick. You got a linebacker on you now. ISO'd. Go have fun. Can you imagine a linebacker trying to keep up with him? Holy fuck. Or 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 if you're gonna be a, a, a little a little DB, he's gonna fucking box you out like a little ass kid on a pickup game at LA Fitness. Like, come on, bro. Are you kidding me? He's a mismatch problem, like, everywhere because of his unique abilities. Like, it's crazy how much he could help this football team. Uh, Titan Who says, I want Bowers just because I don't want him to go to the Colts. Oh, my God. I know, right? That I fucking can't stand those Colts. Walmart toilet seat logo looking Colts. Next time you guys have to take a piss at Walmart, look at that that Colts uh, logo and then, think, and, and then you're going to look at that toilet and you're going to be like, holy shit, T.A. was right. Holy shit. A wild German lady appears. What's up, German lady? Uh, JC on Think says, I think Chig is going to have a 900-yard season, and I like your song with Chig, 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 Can't You See? <laughs> Old school song, man. We almost got 80 people watching. Chiggy, 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 Can't You See? Sometimes those balls that you drop in are pissing me off. Nah, um, to be honest, though, to be honest, Chig started coming on at the end of the season. I think he started getting comfortable. Uh, if he can, if he can improve the um you know just dr don't drop as many balls bro like that's 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 a problem like we you gotta like i know when you catch the ball you're amazing but you gotta catch the ball first that's priority and and we need to make sure that happens we still have 36 minutes to go we're killing it right now you guys 73 people watching right now if you guys are watching right now and you guys want to hit the like but it's hard to find there's the three dots in the top right Hit that three dots to lower it and then hit that thumbs up. Make sure you get that thumbs up, you guys, and do not forget to subscribe. We recently just hit 13,000 subscribers, and in less than a day, like less than, I guess, less than two days now, we're almost at the, after this is over, we'll, we'll have the two days done, um, and, and we're going to be somewhere around 200 subscribers gained in almost two days, you guys. Let that sink in. You guys are on fire. This combine talk has everybody excited. Whether you're on my side of the uh, on you know of the of the coin or not, whether you're a Titans fan or you're a fucking 
jungle kitty cat jaguar it doesn't matter bro i mean it kind of does your team sucks but you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying uh vixity says love your jersey i appreciate that man we got the the anderson in the back you know how it goes man the captain's patch number 90 baby let's go i love it man uh, Michael Lim says, Will Levis going to prove all the haters wrong next year? He will have a full season and weapons and a better defense. I'm so fucking excited, bro. Uh, Gator, Gator Hater says, Vol fans want Milton. That's all. Yeah, probably. Just like most of the Vol fans hated uh, Will Levis, and they still do, which is fucking crazy to me. Uh, Titan Boy Blazon says, Malik has a cannon for our arm, and, and we see how that ended up. Again, man, there's all these guys in their underwear throwing fucking 60-yard passes. Like, who cares? Tell them, to, like, let let somebody who doesn't want him to be healthy, someone who's trying to take him and put him on the turf or the, the grass uh, in pads and rush him while he's trying to make that throw in pads. He's not making that. I mean, maybe every once in a while, but he's proven to not make that consistently. He's proven to not see anyone coming from his blind side. He's proven to not see the open guys enough consistently. It's not me hating. These are, these are facts. If he did these things consistently, he would be talked about somewhere with all the guys at the top being talked about. It's crazy, bro. Tighten up. I love it, man. Uh, Lucas Sharp right here with another one. Joe Milton overthrows a lot. He does. That's that's a fact. I, I mean, I don't want to just keep piling in on him because, I mean, again, if we were to draft him, which it, it's not happening, but if we were, I'll, I'll support the shit out of him. Just don't think it's it's it, with with everything that's going on right now. That's we don't we don't need him. We need to stay away from that. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for holding it down. It looks like there's a lot going on in the chat right now. All my mods holding it down. Thank you guys. You know, the more uh, the the more uh, people we get in here, the, the uh, you know we're gonna find a lot of new great subscribers, guys. But there's gonna be a lot of haters as well. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, let let the let the people talk. For, you know what I'm saying? Let people express their feel. You know, and that's what it's about. But the spamming and stuff, you guys know. You you know what's up. You you know where the line is. You know where the line is. Uh, the Willie Tro says, "I firmly believe that Bo Nix is gonna have the best career of any quarterback in this class." That's a crazy take. Uh, is it possible? Sure. Very unlikely. Very unlikely, bro. Over Chicken says, everyone join the Discord. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, that Discord's been popping, fellas. If you guys have not checked out that the Discord that we have, wow. Join that Discord, y'all. Hit that link. I promise you, you will not regret it. Uh, Lucas Sharp says, uh, did you see they officially started construction for the new stadium? Good. Good. I remember when, I remember driving by when uh when the titans made that game winner against the eagles and i remember uh i remember being in vegas um and driving by uh and they were just putting up the the raider stadium and they had that shit up in like a year from that time bro it was fucking unbelievable how fast they built that i was like that's crazy man i, I saw like the framing being put up bro it was crazy when i was there it was crazy bro uh, Volcano says, T, I think Rome Adunze is most likely the pick. I hope not, bro. No disrespect, Rome. I just, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want him. I'm just going to keep it a band. I don't want him. I do not want him. You guys are killing it in the chat. We're going to get back down to the bottom because you guys are doing, you guys are doing some work. You guys are doing some work. I appreciate you guys again, man. Continue to hit that subscribe button. How we looking, Billy, on the numbers? How we looking, you guys? Everybody keeps mentioning that Andrew guy. What the fuck is going on? Luke McCaffrey might be a steal in the draft. Hopefully, falls to to the fourth to us. I mean, again, I don't I don't know if we need that. Jeremy Swinger says Joe Alt couldn't keep his balance in the change of direction drills. Imagine if a power rusher was attacking him at the at this. Hey, look. Some people were saying, "Is he too tall?" I think if you give him. Um, if you give him the know of all on the plays, if he knows where he's going to be, where he's supposed to go, where he's supposed to be, who's going to be next to him, that's going to help out a lot. You know what I mean? I think it's going to help out a lot. Um, don't let it fool you. If he's there at seven, the Titans will run up their backflip and, and draft him right away. 
if him and Neighbors are up there, that's where it gets tricky. If Joe Alt and Malik Neighbors, I need everybody paying attention right now. If Malik, if Malik Neighbors and Joe Alt are available at seven, both of them, I need you guys to put it in the comment section right now. Who do we take? Put it in caps. Who do we take? If Joe Alt and Malik Neighbors are both there at seven, put it in the comments. Let's let's blow that shit up. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. You guys are kicking ass, man. Uh, Javino says, been a fan since 1989, my boy. That's what's up, Javino. Hopefully I'm not saying your name wrong. I love it, bro. He says, I'm not trolling there. I'm a diehard Kansas City Chiefs all my life. I'm not a bandwagon Chiefs. I love football. There you go, man. Rep your team. If you really are a real fan, rep your team, bro. He says, Texas barbecue is ass. I love it. Thomas Torres says, I like your jersey. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. We got that custom, you know, that t t Titan Anderson jersey. You know what I'm saying? Got the, the captain's patch because Mike Vrabel's weirdo ass didn't want us to wear captain's patch jerseys. Oh, no, we have captains, but we don't want to wear captain's patch jerseys because uh, we want to be uh, a unity. We want to be together. What the fuck are you talking about? It shows. Haven't you fucking seen the army and stuff? There's always that type of fucking there's generals there's ranks there's all types of stuff for a reason it doesn't mean they're not on the same team status bro what is wrong with you my god bro he fucking didn't even want us to have captain's patch jerseys it's fucking weird uh derrick henry says dude my entire room is titans i found someone with my same love also i want Pittman. hey that's what's up bro welcome to the channel man if you're new to the channel i appreciate it and i'm glad that you found it um there's nothing better than 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 blue right there ain't nothing better than two-tone blue. A little red from the flames, you know, here and there, and a little silver from the swords. But about anything else, man, we good on that. And that's cool, though, bro. That's cool. Uh, Michael says, hey, Andrew Perry, keep the hate coming. I love it, man. Keep it coming, man. Jeremy says, Joe Alt can't change direction fast. He was slow. A lot of people are, are talking about different things about that. You guys, he moves fast. He's strong for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's quick. He's um He's got that passion. And again, if, if he's in two-tone blue... He's going to be coached up by one of the best offensive line coaches there is to learn from. He's going to have Peter Skaronsky next to him. It's, it's, it'll be perfect. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that you could look at. And that's just nitpicking. A lot of people, oh, man, maybe he's too tall. But look at all the things that he did, the the, the jumping, the the cutting back and forth, the the ups, everything, the the strength, the, uh, the way that he's able to communicate, bro. Like, he's a natural, natural tackle. He's built for that shit. Not just size, he's humongous, which didn't I tell you guys? Everybody on the offensive line would be 330 plus pounds if I built it. If you're under 330, you would have to be a giant. In his case, he's damn near 330, but he's 6'9", bro. You get what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. I would build a fucking, a wall, a fucking shield so big, you'd have nothing, you wouldn't be able to do nothing. Wouldn't be able to do nothing. It's crazy, bro. Uh, Titanus says, I'm sure this has been said already, but do you want to sign CJ Gardner Johnson TA? Of course, I would love to. Um, but I, I mean, I would rather have a guy, like, I mean, there's a lot of guys I would like to have, you know, Jair Alexander, there's a bunch, bro. Free agency is coming up, you know, um, as fun as the draft is and as exciting as the NFL draft is to talk about. Guys, we still have 30 minutes to talk, by the way. So hit that like, subscribe, comment. It's the place to be, I promise you, I promise you. Um, CJ Gardner Johnson, someone, Jair Alexander. Um, you know, there's plenty of guys that we can go out there and get. You know, people keep talking about Bayard. I think Bayard, no disrespect. I'd love to have him back, but I think that's a step backwards. I don't think we need to go that direction anymore. He left to win, right? Like, I think it's time to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the only guy we need to focus on bringing back really is uh, like guys that were just recently brought in or Derrick Henry, like that, that, that's about it. I think from the older regime, um, I think, I think it's time that, that, that they need to go. Um, and, and again, he's gone for a reason. We, we, uh, we were able to finesse the Eagles and, um, and win that, that, uh, win that trade. And now watch, we're going to go turn those draft picks into usable players. I promise you, it's going to be so hilarious. This is going to be great, bro. Uh, Volcano says, T.A., you streaming the draft. Yeah, we're going to do the, the draft. Uh, we're going to do the whole first round live. You guys are going to have a live watch party for the NFL draft. Uh, same as we always do. It's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. So make sure you guys check that shit out. I promise you it's going to be a lot of fun. 
Uh, Hyde says Chig is really good after the catch. Just got to work on catching. See, that's what I'm saying. It's weird, bro. And he's made spectacular catches. He doesn't have the longest arms. We get that. But he does make really nice catches. It's just there's times where he just drops the ball. Like he'll try to run before he catches it so often. It's like, oh, my God. It's so frustrating, man. Gogo says tighten up always, bro. Uh, Jason says, T.A., you get the new NCAA? Nah, bro, I'm going to get the Madden. I'm going to get Madden. Uh, either PS5 or maybe get a whole new Xbox and and, and give uh, little T.A. the PS5. And ba baby T.A. got the PS4. So, you know, we all working around here, man. We all getting it. He said, do ASMR for five bucks. What the fuck is ASMR? Is that the eating stuff? Is that the eating stuff? What the fuck? That's crazy. Uh, let's see. I appreciate it, man. We got 60 people watching, man. Get those likes up, fellas. Get those likes up. That's funny as hell. Gator Hater said it took Chig three years to get comfortable, and now we get a new offense. Bowers makes ba what? Uh, Bowers makes Bowers. I'm not sure what you mean, but uh, Bowers is uh, Bowers is somebody that could lit legitimately be the go-to guy in the offense. Um, you could. Uh, it's just he. You guys don't be surprised because I, I think he's going to be there. I think he'll be there at seven. I think if um, if Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Joe Alt, if those three are gone, Bowers has to really be taken into consideration because he's not just a tight end. He's a tight end that you can use as a receiver, as a weapon, even fullback at times. He is so fucking lethal. Such a good Wii player. He would blend in perfectly. Throw two-tone blue on it and he wants to play for us? I don't know, bro. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, y'all. Lucas says, dude, uh, can you blame Vol fans, though? Levis sucked ass in college. I mean, name name three players on on, uh, on Levis's team in college that were good. Go ahead. Don't worry. In the words of Cat Williams, don't worry. I'll wait. Name three players that Will Levis played with that, that are as good as Malik Neighbors and Joe Walt and shit like that. <laughs> he didn't have them. He didn't have them, bro. Come on, man. But yet you still saw signs. Even with no blocking last year, even with, with one, one receiver, still made plays, still made eye-popping plays that just made you go, wow. He made, on that one throw, like I said, that fade away to the side to NWI, that made the Manning brothers literally, their jaws were on the floor in awe of the this guy's abilities. Like <laughs> it's funny how people bring up stuff like like, like that for oh he wasn't good in college. Who gives a shit? College is like, come on, bro. There's only a certain amount of teams who fucking are gonna win anyway. They get fuck look at look at all those top teams, Bama, Georgia, and all those guys. They get fucking 150 of the top five star recruits there are. And then you get other guys. You think people want to play for Kentucky, bro? Like let's keep it a band. How many people are saying, I can't wait to go play football for Kentucky? Fucking nobody. Fucking nobody. Maybe basketball. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Don't let stats fool you. Don't let stats fool you. There's situations and there's reasons for stats at times. Let Will Levis be built around. Give him a fucking shield. Give him a wall, a great offensive line, and great weapons. And you're going to see one of the best players you're ever going to watch in football. How do I know that? Because I've watched football since I was born. I was born in 1990. Yeah, fucking kind of a while ago now. I've watched a lot of great football players. And go watch Will Levis, his highlights. And specifically watch the ones where he has time. It's fucking magic. It's fucking magic. I've done a lot of Will Levis highlight watching. I've called all of his throws live on my channel during the watch parties. When he has time, even when he doesn't have time, he makes shit happen. But when he has time, he makes quarterback look easy as cut and paste in preschool. He makes quarterback look easier than that girl on third and fourth. Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, let's be honest. He makes that shit look easier than microwavable lasagna. This is not, look, come on, bro. We got to keep it 100 real quick. We'll love us, we'll love us in college. I'm still waiting for three. I'm still waiting for y'all to name three people. I don't think anybody knows. I don't think anybody knows. Nobody does. He was playing with no, he was playing, no disrespect, Kentucky. Y'all didn't have any anybody for him to work with. And he still, still made plays. Still showed, still showed all of that and more. And, and 
Thank God he went. He, thank God he was at Kentucky, or we wouldn't have had him. If he was at one of those powerful schools, he would have easily been in the top of the draft. Easily. There were times where people already ranked him at the top of the draft as the number one quarterback going into that draft. Mind blowing. Crazy. Let's get into this, fellas. I'm going to get back in there. I know I've been talking a shit, talking a lot of shit, man. I appreciate you guys so much, man. You guys are killing it. The comments are flying, bro. The comments are flying. Let's go, man. Let's go. Everybody, it seems like there's a lot of arguing in the chat, man. That is crazy. Uh, so, what is this? That's Seth. Be careful, Seth. Uh, Sarojini says, what kind of glasses are you wearing? LOL. I'm, I'm wondering what's so LOL about them. They're called the Kato's. Oakley Kato's. Oakley Kato's. It's funny. Everybody, at least once every stream, somebody going to ask about You want a close-up? Shits are fire, right? Shit's blue fire, man. Fuck that red-orange fire bullshit. These, yeah, it's blue fire, man. You know what I mean? That shit's way hotter than red fire. Are you fucking serious? Oh, man. What's up, Coach Plays? My guy, Coach Plays. What's up, man? Been a minute, man. Been a minute. Yeah, man. Thank God YouTube is finally listening to the streamers out there and not just the podcasters, man. I kept telling people, coach, I'm like, I'm not a podcaster. I'm a I'm a party, man. I'm a streamer. I'm a Tennessee Titans live streamer. I need to be live. Tired of this fucking algorithm bullshit. Push TA. YouTube needed this. YouTube needed to push TA. We needed some excitement, man. I'm going to have to get you on the channel soon, Coach. It's been a fucking minute, bro. Everyone go check out Coach Plays. He's one of the OGs in this shit. He does a lot of film breakdowns, too, which he's really good at. Check him out with that. Um, but he, he, he's, um, yeah, he's been he's been around a long fucking time, and he's been killing it, too, man. Shout out to my guy. <clears throat> Titan South says, if both Alton neighbors on the board, number seven, would be tough. Hey, man, that'll really make people shit their pants. No diaper, huh? Man, both of them available. I don't know what's going on. Crazy. Some of y'all be asking the craziest shit, man. It's like they be going on live, going online, seeing people live, clicking on it and asking the craziest questions. I can only imagine you guys, some of you guys asking those weirdo questions. You guys are probably sitting there like RG3, dipping your fucking cheese Cheetos in the milk and shit. Like weirdos, man. Who does that, man? I would never go out of my way. And I see someone live on YouTube go in there and ask them some weirdo, weirdo shit. Like, that's some stranger shit, man. Some of y'all weird, bro. Some of y'all are so strange. It's funny, though. Y'all y'all make me laugh, but it is funny. I love it, man. I love it. I'm so excited about this draft. I'm so excited about the players that we're going to bring in. I'm just so excited about competing with the Texans. We all know the Jaguars and the Colts are going to battle for third and fourth. And they ain't worth a shit. Everyone like, hit that subscribe button, yo. Paxton says, I think bro's a Titans fan. Uh, Dominic says, Red Kingdom. Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs fan in the house. Hey, man, there you go. Talk your shit, bro. You're a champion. Talk your shit. Uh, yeah, everyone, uh, uh, Hyde says, did you talk about uh, uh, the rumors about Mooney and uh, CJG? Uh, yeah, bro. Again, I'll, I'm okay with it. Mooney's a, uh, a little gadget weapon. Fast, quick, explosive. Use him as a return guy, too. <clears throat> so I'm cool with that. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Titanus says, "Ta, would you want to sign Valdez? Uh, scan? No, hell no. Nah. No, nah, I just don't want to, man. I just don't want. I'm gonna stay away from that. I'm gonna stay away from him. But again, that's up to them. Whatever they want to do. Uh, let's see. Tyler says, "Do you play against people on Madden? Of course, bro. Live online Madden. I'm gonna whoop everyone's ass." I'm going to whoop everyone's ass. And I'm calling you out, TD. Me and TD Bear are supposed to be battling it out too, man. We talked about it, TD. Don't think I forgot. Don't think I forgot. TD already accepted it, but, you know, that fool's, that fool's fucking hard to reach, bro, for real. He's got he's got so many subscribers, man. That guy, is, he's well-deserved, man. TD Bear, go check him out. But, uh, yeah, man, me, me and him did talk. Not not recently. I haven't talked to him in a minute, man, but... Uh, he does support all of us low, low, lower YouTubers. He does. And, and that's what's great about him. Um, but yeah, when I get PS5 up, I'm going to I'm gonna tag you, TD Barrett, and we're going to play. It's going to be TA versus 
TDB. And we're going to see who's the king of the stream. It's going to be me versus TD Barry. We coming. He's probably going to whoop my ass. But a lot of people don't realize I'm really good at Madden. I'm really good at Madden. I don't, I don't play like he, I mean, obviously like he does, but. Get those subscribers going, fellas. Hit that red button, you guys. Let's go. Uh, Sports All Day says the Titans suck. What? I can't tell what team he's rocking. What is that? I'm not sure what team he likes. Your team suck, too. Uh, Titanic says, Tyler, that'd be so fun. TA versus the viewers. Hey, man, we're going to get it, bro. We're going to get it, bro. Uh, the Don Podcast says, hopefully Titans can make a clean rebuild and don't screw it up. I'm a Texans fan, but I always want our division to be competitive. Screw the Jags, though. Hey, I respect that. I respect that. Because everybody knows, I don't like you guys. <coughs> you don't need to like us. You shouldn't like us. But the fact that we could love Love hating the Jaguars together. That's fucking magic, man. Awesome. High five, my guy. Let's get it. Fuck the jungle cats, the jungle kitties, that stupid cat, the dumbest cat of all the cats. Are you kidding me? We've got lions over there. I wouldn't fuck with a lion. I'm sorry. A tiger, fuck that. Tiger would kill a tiger would kill a lion. I don't think people really realize that. It's a fact. Go look it up. I think I'm lying. Oh, think I'm lying, lion, tiger. I'm fucking lying. Wow, I'm going way off topic. What the fuck? My point is, my point is the Jaguars are trash. Tomato can franchise. They got a surfer, a surfer lurk, looking uh, quarterback that belongs on the San Diego La Jolla beach. Like, come on, bro. Go swim with the fishies. You don't belong on a football field. Half of your fans already quit on you when you lost to us in the final week i got something else i want to talk to you guys about how do you guys feel about the nfl pushing for 18 games we already are at, went from 16 to 17 they want 18 i'm for it it just means more money more football more problems baby i i'll be for it I, I as long as like i said football is great if they want to take away another preseason game i'm cool with that i need to know what you guys think in the comment section seriously dead ass serious how do you guys feel about them adding another football game to the regular season? Put that shit in the comment section and blow it up. Don't spam it. Just blow it up. Let your voice be heard. I'm curious. Titanus tells the Don, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Texans, my favorite team in the division. Not going to lie. Don't have too much of a problem with them. But yes, uh, we hate the Jags. Uh, what Titanus really meant to say is he, he really does hate you guys too. Just not as much as them. He doesn't like you guys. Trust me. He, he just got carried away with, uh, with with everybody getting along. That's just all it was. I got your back, Titanus. I got your back, bro. Oh, man, you guys are great. Holy shit. Dominic says, born in 1977. I've been watching football forever. That's, my, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Tim Ray says, Eddie George is the truth. Eddie George is an amazing, amazing player, person, just legend. Literally, just he he's a he's a great person. He's amazing. He's just fucking amazing. Uh, let's see. The Don says for me with Will, he gives me a Josh Allen raw potential. He just needs to know when to make certain decisions and sliding instead of taking hits is going to be a big one for him. I'm not worried about that at all, bro. And let me explain to you why. He didn't have any weapons, and he, and and he didn't even have the job at one point. When he got put in there, he wasn't guaranteed to do anything. He was out there trying to prove to everybody, like, I don't want to be taken out. Like, I can do everything. Let me show you how competitive I, I am, how much I want this. Of course, he's going to start sliding more. Of course, he's going to be getting out of bounds more. He's the guy now. Now it's about keeping him healthy, keeping him up safe, and keeping him upright, and, and, and getting him into the playoffs with more weapons and better blocking and a great defense. We're well coached. We've got all the head coaches, every coaching thing that we possibly need is in place. We're ready to go. We just need to fill in the spots and, and trim the fat, and we're going to go. We'll be ready. So glad that we have Will Levis. My God, thank God we have Will Levis. Uh, let's see. I really hope, uh, I really hope that um, the Titans find a way to bring Henry back, but if he doesn't, I think I think um I think Spears needs to do that number change. If Henry's gone, Spears needs to do a number change. Uh, he's already said he wants to go to a single digit number. Um, if Derrick Henry leaves and he's going to be the guy, go change your number, bro. Be be the um, 
be the next face running back of this franchise. Uh, we have a magical ability of of sprinkling special ability, you know, you know, Titan two tone dust on on our running backs and having them perform really high uh, when they put on our our two tone flaming helmets. And um, I I, th- I I told people this before. I think Ty J Spears could could be. Um, I think there's a chance he could be a superstar. Uh, from what I saw, I call him the barber uh, because he's out there giving people cuts on a Sunday. Um, I know, uh, I think RG3 was calling him like Ty J Shakespeare. That's fucking dope as hell too. Um, I, I just, the way I saw him cutting back and forth, I, the way I saw him uh, explode through the line, uh, the way I saw him uh, in, on the mic'd up moments, um, everything I saw superstar, like literally superstar. Um and then you're able to get your franchise quarterback and franchise left guard in the same draft ahead of him. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. Like that, how did that happen? Like, it, it almost seems un, like unrealistic that we were able to get those guys in the way we got them, but we did. Uh, Adrian Morales says Hopkins, uh, Ridley, Bowers, Chig, Spears, rejuvenated trail. And that's pretty interesting right there. Ariel Carter says, sup TA Titans must draft a wide receiver first round. It's overdue. Can't just lean on D Hop and Burks. Not gonna, uh, not giving bust when we, when we expected. Uh, let me explain to you something. Even if we don't go receiver in the first round, we're bringing somebody in in the in the free agency. There's no way we don't bring in some type of receiver in the free agency. I'm not. I, I'm not. To be honest, I'm not expecting to bring in like the biggest name and break the bank for anybody. I'm not expecting that. Um, I'm expecting to get one of the middle of the pack guys someone who's got a lot of speed and someone who can help the team in that aspect. Um, Will they start um, probably to begin the season? Maybe, but if we draft a a receiver with the seventh overall pick, they're going to start right away on the opposite side of Deandre Hopkins. That's a fact. 15 Packers prod says, go pack, go the fucking cheesers, the fucking cheesers. Uh, Thomas Torres says, I live in Texas and a Titans fan. That's what's up, bro. Shout out to you. Hopefully you're, you're enjoying the stream. Uh, Cameron Wooten says, should the Titans trade Derek? You can't trade Derek and his contract's up. So it's, it's kind of up to whatever he wants to do. Whatever he wants to do, bro. Uh, Big, Big Monkey says, Titans suck dog water. Ravens the best. The Purple Pigeons? You like the Purple Pigeons? Those stupid birds? The ones who just go after fucking kids' lunch? And and go through the trash and eat shit. Fuck them. Fuck those stupid birds. Purple pigeons. Yeah, Jags fans are still very upset that the Titans ended their seasons, fellas. Very upset. I, I understand it. I get it. I'd be pissed off too when you had such a great season. I love it. Uh Dominic says, I'm I'm four eighteen games, more football. Hell yes. Hey, I'm with it too. You guys are killing it today, I swear to God. Uh, Iceman says Miami Dolphins for life. Man, the tuna fish. Holy crap. The teal fish. The fish. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Wow. Hey, do you remember when you played the Titans? <laughs> oh, fuck. I love it, man. Everybody hit that subscribe button, fellas. Hit that subscribe button, man. Let's get it, man. It's been it's been a lot of fun so far. I love it. He said, your quarterback's never been to the playoffs. Our quarterback just got into the league. The fuck? Someone dropped monkey on his head, bro. (laughs) Oh, bro. This is crazy. Uh, Michael M. with a great comment. He says, we got Ravens best coach, Denard. Preach that shit, bro. Over Chicken says, I don't want 18 more injuries. They also need to change the bye week plans. I hate how some people have a week four bye and others have like a week 15 bye. Not really fair. It's all a. It's all different. It it's all, it's all. You know what I'm saying. Um, I'm sure they'll find a way. Maybe they throw an extra. I don't know what they do. Little T A pissed. I don't know what they're gonna do though. I'm not really sure how they're gonna do that. But it's just more football, more football. So I'm for that. I'm for that. He, uh, Black Bear says, "Hate me all you want. The Texans are overhyped. I think the Texans are a good ass team. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna gas like that one, bro." Uh, Jonathan says, Eddie George McNair. That's why I love the Titans. Hey, man, that's where it all started, bro. That's where it all started. Guys, we got five minutes. We got five minutes to go to get to that one hour mark, man. I appreciate everybody for stopping in. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Check out earlier's live stream too, part one. That shit was crazy, bro. 
we were going crazy at it. So again, man, it's been a lot of fun. We're going to keep going for a little bit. Um, it's it's <laughs> it's been crazy, man. The NFL Combine has been wild. You got big ass dudes running fast as hell. You got the fucking receivers running faster than you've ever seen. You've got um um some of the running backs look pretty good too. Corum out there looking pretty damn solid, even though nobody seems to give a shit about running backs. Uh, some of the DBs running pretty quick as well too. We're got a, we got a lot of things to be paying attention to. This free agency is popping up quicker than we could ever expect, man. I it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Black Bear says Big Jeff ready to cook next year. Will Levis said 2024, 2025 is our year in a meetup. Hey, um, Will Levis is somebody who doesn't uh, accept losing. He that's not it's not in his DNA. He hates it. He hates it. And, and we have a whole football team full of people who hate losing, and that's what we're building. We're building a team that hates losing. Next year, we're going to be a lot better. Will we make the playoffs? Hopefully. Hopefully. That's all I can say to you guys. Hopefully. But it's going to get to it's going to get to the point where, where we're, we're a problem. We've got our quarterback. We've got the coaching. Now it's time to fill in the other spots. And then it's time to go. We're going to head into that new stadium. And we're going to be the Darth fucking Vader for all those Star Wars fans out there with like this, this stadium just looks like a, like the fucking Music City Dar Death Starship, whatever that shit was called that Darth Vader was in, bro. Like this shit is beautiful. The Titans are getting ready to to really welcome people into a beautiful stadium and then kick their asses while they're there. We're building a monster. Miss Amy wants a competitive always trying to go for Super Bowl winning football team. And that's what the fuck we're going to do. We're not bottom barrel feeding people like the Jaguars. What, six winning seasons in the last 27 years? That's pathetic. Pathetic. Just like their, their rank on the, on, on the cat ladder. Pathetic. We've got a lot to talk about, y'all. I love it, man. I love it. Get those final questions in, y'all. Uh, Breezy says, Joe Alt is the smartest pick. I think he has the most upside to still being a starter in this league 10 plus years. I think so too, bro. I do too. If you guys are feeling generous, money signed Titan Anderson, man, on Cash App. We got it. We got it. Man, I'm telling you, eventually soon, we're going to have to start extending these live streams to two hours, bro. These one hours are just like, like I said, man, it's starting to be like, it may not be long enough anymore, man. We keep growing and growing and growing. Uh, Flinging Twig says, you guys really need Brock Bowers. It would be a really good fit, man. If those top three guys that I initially wanted aren't there, I'm down, bro. I'm down, bro. I am down. Another guy trying to bring up AJ Brown like we give a shit. Crazy. Everyone subscribe, y'all. Everyone subscribe if you haven't already, man. I want to thank everybody for coming in. We got two more minutes, man. Two more minutes. Get those final questions in there, baby. Get those final questions in there. If you guys have had fun today, hit that number one. Hit that number one. If you're new, put it in the comment section that you're new to the channel so we can welcome you guys, man. We've got the channel Discord pinned at the top 24-7. Tennessee Titan slash football conversations in there. We literally are talking 24-7 in there. It's fucking fun. It's the place to be. We're changing the game for streamer sports. Streaming sports is back, ladies and gentlemen. We're not a podcast. We're a fucking two-tone blue party. We do things different over here. I love it, man. Hunter says, let's go Browns. That's crazy, bro. Monkey says, I'm new. I can tell you're new, bro. You're already causing issues. But it's all good, man. It's all good, man. You can like whoever you like. It's all good. It doesn't matter. We don't care. We don't care. Just don't spam. and you, you, Common sense shit, man. Common sense shit. Motivational says, if, if I sub, we'll... We'll answer you my would question rather. Whoa, bro, you coming at me with some crazy ass Master Yoda speaking, bro. You gotta speak, you got killing me, bro. You killing me, bro. Uh, a trustee says, um, Chargers have a better powder blue. Yeah, right. Chargers blue looks like, looks like our Titan blue was left out in the fucking sun for two days. That's what it looks like. And then you guys have fucking pea yellow. You got fucking pool party piss yellow and we got fucking red eyed fucking go to war red as our fucking backup color what now bro are you kidding me 
This is crazy. I love you guys, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get off right now. We got we did literally did two live streams for you guys today. Um, maybe maybe we'll do a couple more for you guys. Maybe we'll do a couple more for you guys. So uh, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Titan Anderson. Remember, you can't spell Titans without putting that T A in it. I'm the best in the league. I'm the best in the game. Nobody doing it like us. Remember, hit that fucking Discord. You won't fucking regret it. Tighten up, Code Blue Cyclops swag. You can't spell this team's name, like I said, without putting those two letters in it. I love y'all. Let's go.